And what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Billy Mac, back for another reaction video. Today, we're reacting to the 10 best features in Madden football history from the video game series. Um, shout outs to Eric Wayweather. Um, I saw this video. And I was like, I forgot to react to this because, I mean, half the reason I started watching Eric Wayweather because he's a franchise mode type of guy. And I love that about him. So, um, yeah, he's a franchise mode type of guy. And, and I, I, yeah, man, love him. Love his videos. Love what he's doing. But basically, um, I'm trying to think of when I see, when I think of the best features, um, I, don't, I don't know if y'all can see it, but. Right now, the the video is starting with old school Madden, so I don't. I'm trying to think of what features <laughs> were on the old school Madden. If I mean, this is this might be a trivia question, but I think at one point in time, you couldn't even you couldn't even audible in Madden, so that might be a feature. So I, I want to know how he what he what, where he's going when it comes to the features, because when I think of the features, I think of of course Hit Stick. Hit stick was the biggest one. I mean, hit stick is transcendent. I think of, um, you know, like the X factors, and um, you know the X factors and stuff. Those are the when I think of features, I think of things in the game that you couldn't do before. You know what I mean? Um, so I don't know. We're gonna see. Uh, like I said, shout out to Eric Rayweather. And uh, y'all go subscribe to his channel, good channel, if you're a big Madden fan. And uh, let's get it started. We're going to talk about the top 10 features in Madden video game history. Obviously, before we start out, we want to send a rest in peace to John Madden, rest one of the peace. best coaches of all time, one of the best commentators of all time, and the guy that this video game is named after, and a guy that had a big hand in how the video game was made for many, many years. So to remember him, let's talk about the 10 best features of all time in the video game that he was named after. So for number one on the list, we got to go back many years ago to talk about the ambulance. One of the fan <laughs> favorite features ever in the series history it was kind of a funny thing and an inside joke among. Ma yeah, man. So, OK, so, OK, I see what he I see where he's going. So he's going with maybe overall just things that were in Madden. So I think this is going to be a very generic list. He's probably going to put superstar mode. It's going to be owner mode. Um, I wonder if he's going to put head coach because there was because there was, but it was a separate game. It wasn't technically Madden, so I doubt it'll be in there. Um, yeah, man. I wonder. I wonder. Um, so of course, ultimate team. He's going to mention ultimate team. He's going to mention the hit stick. I'm trying to think what else he could mention, but. But I see, I see where he's going with it, so it should be a decent list. Madden players, because while the ambulance was meant to come onto the field to take away an injured player, it would, like, run over it half the team in the process. The team, it was yeah. just kind of a funny thing. And although it was removed many years ago, it's something that people still remember to this day. You know when you were playing your buddy back in the day, if you're an older gamer, when that ambulance came on the field, it was kind of a trash talk moment because you made a crazy play and you took one of their players out of the game. But the fact that it would just run over half the team in the process process kind of just made it almost funny in a way and made light of the situation that somebody was getting injured in the video game and then of course it was removed many years ago and to this day we don't really see anything crazy happen when yeah the nfl doesn't want to promote players getting injured when we was eight nine ten years old getting injured was funny it was it, it just it was and seeing the ambulance come on the field it was funny players get injured but in the og days of the first ambulance that's just something a lot of the older madden gamers look back on and remember as a funny thing that used to happen in the game number two on the list is franchise mode now this is something that is big now, let me tell you about something i mean it's, it's the reason i played madden it was well no i take that back the reason i played madden is because it was fun I got to play my brother and my cousins, and we used to have a ball playing Madden. But when they added franchise mode, 
Oh my God. Oh my God. That's not in every sports game it's kind of the staple of every sports game it's kind of the big mode that made sports gaming really take off in my opinion and it's still in every sports game to this day but madden was one of the first and one of the best franchise modes ever in its heyday especially on the playstation 2 era of console you had so many features there were so many things you could do it literally felt like you could run your own nfl team and to this day you still have franchise modes in all these sports games including madden and while a lot of people feel that they have gotten worse over the years that they've kind of gotten away from what they used to be the og franchise modes from you know 15 to 20 years ago are still so fun that many people play them to this day many people boot up their playstation 2s to play madden 04 madden 05 madden 06 and madden 07 because of just how deep the modes were and how much control you had over building a team it literally felt like you could be the coach the owner and the player and with so many options at your fingertips it was something Thing that never got old number three on the list goes along with franchise mode and that is owner mode specifically which was a feature that was added in madden 04 it was kind of a different listen man owner mode being able to relocate your team change the prices i liked owner mode you, I, listen i liked owner mode more for more so for the off season i would literally just sim through the season and just work the off season because I feel like that's that's what it is in real life. You don't have control over the player. You don't get to play every game. You gotta you you just gotta put the players and you gotta hire the coaches and hire the right players and put them in position to win. It would take it would take me on average three years to to put a team together. And that and that was with Fantasy drafting. Anytime I play fan franchise mode, I would fantasy draft because, you know, I'm a Cowboys fan. How ironic. I'm a Cowboys fan, so I know my team. I knew I would know I, I would get the Cowboys to the Super Bowl in like one year because I would know who to cut. I would know who to move. <laughs> you know, it's like I would know – how to play, how to, what moves to make with that team to make them better. And they would go to the Super Bowl in like a year. And and that's what simming through. So with fantasy draft, you got to sacrifice. You got to sacrifice. And I used to sacrifice O-line all the time. But that's another video for another day layer to franchise mode that had never been seen before in video games where you could literally own the team before you could be the coach you could be the general manager and you could be the player but you could never actually oversee all the other things that came with running a franchise and owning a franchise you could build new stadiums and relocate teams you could adjust the ticket prices the concession prices the merchandising prices you could look at the reports of your team and see what they were earning where they were losing you could upgrade stadiums you could do so much stuff with this mode and i remember being a youngster back in the day and reading in a magazine what they were planning to do with madden 04 and owner mode and i remember to this day never being more excited for a video game than when i was reading about owner mode because at the time something like that just didn't even seem possible it didn't seem like something could go that deep and it still exists in the game to this day and again a lot of people look back and say you know the og days on the ps2 were a little bit better than they are today but that is without a doubt one of the best features that ever came to the madden franchise number four on the list is the mini camp drills one of the best things that ever happened to the i'm about to cry me and my brother would play mini camp mode hours oh my gosh me and my brother would play mini camp mode for hours yo hours oh man oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh and he was always good at the defensive stuff I was always good at the offensive stuff. 
my favorite game was the pocket present. Because you had to, the, the little things go boom, 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 boom. And you have to dodge them, you have to dodge them, and then throw it to the right um, receiver. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. They need to bring that back, man. They got to bring that This franchise, something that was removed quite a while ago oh. and has still not made a return, although I do believe it will make a return one day. Now, I think Madden 2003 was the first year that we saw the mini camp added to the game. And what was really cool about this is not only was it big. My brother would beg me to do the kicker mini camps because he, he just couldn't do them. He wasn't, got, he wasn't that good at them. I was getting, I would get gold on the kicking stuff all the time. For franchise mode, it was just big as a standalone thing that you could play in the just game. You had rookie difficulty, pro, all pro, and all Madden. So you would start on rookie difficulty. There would be a map of the United States. I wonder because see here, here's the thing about the mini camp mode. If you when you get gold and all the difficulties in mini camp mode, you would get cheats. You would get cheats or or stadiums or uniforms and stuff. They need to bring that back. Like low key, one of the best stadiums, even though I hated playing in it, one of the best stadiums was an actual cereal bowl. And as you're playing in the cereal bowl, you can when players are running, you can see milk like splashing as they run across the field. And then when they get tackled, they would actually slide <laughs> because the field was just wet. Cool, one of the coolest things ever. That'd be, if he brings that up, oh my God. States where you would travel around doing different drills like the rushing attack or the QB precision passing Dante or the coffin Hall. punting drills. They had drills for every position in the game. You would complete them all on rookie and then you would jump up to pro, all pro, all Madden. And you would just go around the United States playing different teams at their Jonathan facilities Vilma, and you could Chad have high scores Pennington. and you would try to beat your previous high scores. You could even play some Remember of these drills who online that running back and was. see who could get the highest score. Jones. And then was for franchise Thomas mode, Jones? you would use this in the offseason to try to focus train a few of your players and boost up some of their attributes without Man. a doubt one of the most fun things Jones in the game when you could too. say that you played it online offline or in your franchise mode it was something that affected the whole game it was fun in many different ways and it's something that still needs to Clint be brought Port back to the game to this day, in my opinion number five on the list is the hit stick and this might arguably be the best thing on the entire list it i wouldn't say it's the best thing on the list but it's definitely the most transcendent you can't have a Madden, a Madden video game without Hit Stick. This revolution, like Madden was already here. Hit Stick took it up there somewhere. It, it changed Madden. It's the one thing on the list that has transcended the Madden game and football video gaming in general. Even people that haven't really played Madden much over the years, they know what the hit stick is. They know what that means when you say it. In real life, when a player gets hit really badly, people will say he got Zach hit Thomas. stick. It's just one of those things that has Ray kind of Lewis. become a pop culture thing. It's outside of Madden. And it was introduced I'm in I really Madden. enjoy seeing the old football players from back in the day, man. That might, I think they're playing the Eagles. That might mess around and be James Thrash or something like that. In 2005, when Ray Lewis was on the cover, and a big focus of that game was the defensive side of the ball, where you can now put your defenders into different assignments and adjust them differently, and you can also hit stick people high or low, cause more fumbles, and, you know, even injure people sometimes. It was a big thing that they added to the game, and a big reason that Madden 05 was so defensive-focused was because the year before that, when Michael Vick was on the cover, Michael Vick broke Madden. We had oh. never seen anything like Michael Vick in the Madden NFL. I just remember those days. You just hit stick somebody. Everybody just go, <laughs> game before. And so the next year, they had to put a huge focus on giving the defense some more power and adjustments because you literally couldn't stop Michael Vick in Madden 04. And even in Madden 05, Story Michael Vick was still arguably unstoppable, but at least the defense had more things at their disposal and the hit stick was the focal point of those oh, new man. Defensive Harrison. changes and it's still in the game to this day. It's still a fun thing to this day. Nobody wants to wrap up tackling Madden. Nobody wants to do a conservative tackle. You want to hit stick 
people. You want to lay them out. You want to cause yeah. fumbles. He's right. It's how everybody wants to tackle nobody, every single nobody's play. Nobody's pressing X There was a time X where you could not do anymore. this. I've played some of the old games recently, we're, we're, and it's just a habit to go stick. for the hit stick, even in the games where you can't actually hit stick people because it's become such a staple of the game and how you play on an every down basis. It's one of the craziest things that was ever added to the game, and it'll probably never go it's away. Never going Number away. six on the list is the OG Superstar mode, one of the most innovative and best wow. games ever added to the Madden franchise. This was introduced in Madden 2006. Oh. The selling point of the game that year. And I Yo. This dude is breaking back some memories. Y'all better subscribe to Eric. Y'all subscribe to me, but y'all better subscribe to Eric. He is bringing it. Yo, old school superstar mode. Somebody at EA needs to get fired. Why in the world did y'all take that out? Yo, 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 yo. Okay. So with superstar mode, first of all, you had to go through the combine. Okay, that was that in itself was awesome. But when you created your player, they would randomly generate your parents. And based on your parents' attributes, determined what type of player you would be in the NFL. Let's take it to another level. If you played this this little game, this little, little small game by the name of NCAA football, you could take your player from NCAA football and import that player into Madden and use that said player in superstar mode. Game changer. Game changer. I believe it was removed after Madden 12. Now we've still had career modes in the game and currently to this day we have face of the franchise which not too many people seem big on. Some people like it but not anything that lives up to what the original Face of the franchise is trash. Oh, look at this the cinematic. It's a story mode. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. They can make face of the franchise. They can go back in time, make it superstar mode, and make it generic as hell. Just give us the combine. Let us go through the combine. Give us the, the generated parents. Um, Like, help us go through that. Help us go through that. And, and then we get to the NFL. If you want to use the cinematic thing, use it in the draft. That's how you use the cinematic thing. God. The superstar mode was. For the time, this was kind of a groundbreaking thing where you had so much control over your player all the way down to who your parents were. You could select the DNA of your player based on who your parents would be, and it would kind of set you up for, you know, what type of position and what type of player you would be in the league. You could and you can just keep doing it and keep doing it. pre-draft stuff, and then you get drafted, oh my and then you gosh, have to that calendar your way up to being so a superstar. And you could also even start in the NCAA games if you wanted to take that route. You could start in the NCAA games, kind of start in high school, play through college, and then Preach. put your player over to Madden 06, and then build your superstar. This was a mode that was hours of fun. Never got, never old. got old. It was better each year never after that old. until it was eventually removed from the game. And to this day, people are begging it, it to return. Oh and gosh. they're saying, can we just kind of do away with face of the franchise and just bring something more like the OG superstar mode back? I believe one day it will return, especially with the NCAA game set to return in 2023. But for now, we still look back on the old games because of modes like this. Number seven on the list is create a team. Now, this is something else that was common with sports games. I don't know if Madden did it first. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I know that Madden... Like, all the created stuff was my favorite part of Madden. All from franchise mode to owner mode. I really don't know why I keep looking over here. And there, the camera's right here. But all the created stuff from franchise mode, owner mode, superstar mode create a team that's why i play madden i don't play madden anymore because of this this stuff the stuff i love is gone and granted 
the population of people like me is this small. All the money's going towards Ultimate Team and, and online play. They don't, care. they don't care about franchise mode and stuff like that. That's half the reason why I started subscribing to uh, Eric Wayweather because he was the first, he was like the only YouTuber that I found that was like, yo, Madden, y'all like, Y'all are slacking on franchise mode. He's the only one. This creative team at one point or another on the PS2 was probably the best creative team that you could get in a game. I think maybe Madden 04 is when it really got crazy when they added owner mode and things like that because not only could you create the team from scratch, any color, you had tons and tons and tons of logos to choose from you had different uniform options but you could also create the stadiums and there were tons of different ways you could lay out your stadium, stadium. and this was something that it, <sighs> another one of those things that just never got old because you just could always create old. a new team you could create 10 teams never 20 teams didn't matter old. however many that you wanted to I would literally even in Madden 05 and play with you could go as far as creating schemes. a fan which was a separate thing but kind of went along with this because your created fan would be in the stadium of your created team in the created stadium in the city that you wanted to be in and then you could take this into franchise mode of course and you could create your own story and that's why creative team was so big not only was the customization for the time so on point yeah. but it was just the fact that you could build your own story now this was another thing that was removed after madden 12 never returned to the game a lot of people thought maybe it's because the nfl didn't want it in the game but from what we know the nfl does have some restrictions on this but not restrictions to the point where it can't be in the game at all supposedly they don't want actual nfl teams being altered but the actual creation of new teams doesn't really seem to be a big problem so i do think it's something that should and will return one day but the fact that it's been gone for so long is really disappointing because other sports games even ea games still have this and madden is kind of the one that's lacking behind and this is one of the biggest and most fan favorite features of all time in the all series time. number eight on the list is a little controversial but i'm going with the vision cone now while a lot of people I I wanted the vision cone. I wanted the vision cone. I liked the vision cone because it's it's real. It's real. And it was so funny. That was the re You want to know why people hated the vision cone? Because Michael Vix was like this big. <laughs> Michael Vick was like this big. <laughs> so people couldn't use Michael Vick anymore. The gay, they, they had to, they, Michael Vick for Madden was Randy Moss in NFL 2K. He was unstoppable. They had to bring his ass back down to earth. They had to bring him back down. And I love Michael Vick. I'm not a Falcons fan, but I love Michael Vick did not like this feature a lot loved of it. people absolutely loved it and still loved ask it. for it back to this day and i think at the time this was one of the most innovative things and different things that any sports game tried to do because if you think about it from a realistic standpoint qbs can't see the whole field unless i mean going by you know old madden games when they had the feature apparently guys like peyton manning and tom brady could see, see damn near the whole field they could see like three-fourths of it so while it may have been a little unrealistic for the top end players i think for the middle to lower tier players, it, it made a lot of sense because you Joseph can't see die. the whole field at once. You kind of have to lock onto your target Jordan when you Babineau. throw it to him. I mean, I know Patrick Mahomes sometimes does the no look pass, but that's that's a rare occurrence. That's not an every down type of thing. And I think this I was, was actually very realistic and made the game <laughs> a, a little bit tougher to play. It was a little bit more of a skill gap. Now, it might not have been the most practical thing at all times. I think it's something they could have made a little bit better over the years, but it did have its stay in the game for a few short years. And I think while it was there it was a pretty successful feature and a feature that a lot of people loved even though there were a lot of people that didn't care for it but it's just the Brandon fact that it was Stokely. something so different so groundbreaking and they actually took a chance on something that did work uh, uh, i would say overall it is something that has to make the list because while a lot of people didn't like it it's still talked about to this day it's still one of the legendary things that the game series did
Number nine on the list is the Tony Bruno Show, another fan favorite back from the Madden 05 and Madden 06 days. This lived inside of franchise mode. And, you know, even nowadays, we have certain things that try to maybe rival this. We have the news stories and franchise. Face of the franchise has like a podcast to some extent in the story, but nothing has ever come close to living up to the Tony Bruno Show, where it was actual recorded lines and more times than not kind of went along with what, what was happening I don't in miss your the franchise Tony league. Show. It actually made the depth and immersion of the game just on another level because you actually would listen to this every week and you would listen to hear if they were talking about your team or maybe some of the other teams in the league and it's one of those things that I think would be great to bring back for modern day franchise mode because you could probably do so much more with it now that we have games that are just able to do so much more on systems that are able to do so much more you could have a lot more content within a Tony Bruno type show and I think it would be a welcome return to the series and number 10 on the list is going to be without a doubt the most controversial one so put your pitchforks away just hear me out because when you hear what I'm going to say at first you might just turn off the video it, it, it's part, it should be ultimate team because other than hit stick ultimate team really changed the game when ultimate team first came out it was great it was it was especially when you realized how deep it went it was like yo like i think oh i can't remember what year it was but i was it was the year they brought the um oh what's this stuff the uh like like the um where like your player had to be like like your offensive lineman were either run block or zone block, uh, your quarterbacks were either like pocket passers or scramblers and stuff like that. When they brought that into the game, that's when Ultimate Team was like, "Yo, this this is this is the greatest." depending who you are but it's madden ultimate team yeah. and let me tell you why now in its inception a lot of people actually really enjoyed this mode because it's objectively Look at a that. Cool uh, idea. short pass long pass short uh short run ground and pound uh let me see count was i forgot what cp is what's cp idea building your ultimate team people love team building that is one of the main reasons people play sports games that's the main reason people play franchises team oh building. speed it's run it's just a different type of short team pass speed now in the early run. days microtransactions to my knowledge wasn't as big of a thing in the mode i don't even know if they were in the mode at all in in the first few years they may have been i'm not 100 percent sure Long but it wasn't pass. the focal point of the mode microtransactions in general we're not the focal point of video games back in Madden 10 and Madden 11 days. But the idea of, hey, you can grind and slow build your perfect ultimate team consisting of your favorite current players and some of your favorite legend players is an objectively cool idea if you're a football it's a very fan. Cool Why idea. wouldn't you want Randy Moss and Deion Sanders on the same team with Drew Brees, right? It, it's fun. It's taking all of your favorite players and putting them on a team. Or even what people do nowadays is they make theme teams. So they might take a 49ers team that has Steve Young, George Kittle, Debo Samuel and Jerry Rice, and maybe they're a Devontae Adams fan too. Maybe really? they just like his game. So they put him on the team as well. Objectively, it's a fun, cool thing. And to he do. fumbles. Along the way, <laughs> where people started to have a bad taste in their mouth towards the mode was obviously microtransactions. But to this day, there's plenty of people that love and play the mode who don't spend a dime on the mode. And while it definitely is a lot you harder can to listen. compete against. You can, you can do well in Ultimate Team and not spend any money and make a pretty decent team. Now, to get, like, those big-time players, I think it's possible to do it without microtransactions, but it's a grind. It's other players, if you do not spend money, a lot of people actually do enjoy the grind of building a team. I'm one of those people. I love playing challenges. I love building my team up. I don't like to go in this game and spend a lot of money. I don't really think it's worth it, but I enjoy building up the team and making my LSU team or making my Saints team or sometimes just making an all rookie team. Those things are objectively fun about Madden. It's just that the microtransactions have kind of become such a focal point of the mode that it's turned a lot of people away. But there's no denying the impact it's had on Madden and on sports gaming in general. And while some people would say it's had a negative impact overall, kind of like the vision cone in a way, 
while a lot of people just don't like it at all there are a lot of people that love the mode and it's the only mode they play and it's the only reason they even get the game so while polarizing i think if so many people love and play the mode it's something that has to be on the list and there's no doubt that it is one of the biggest things that's ever happened to the game even if all there are jump. maybe some bad side effects of it that's all for today let me know your list below did i leave anything out that you really loved about the series let me know below check out some of these other videos right here on the screen and i will see you guys next time today we're going to talk about yeah man yeah um there was there was something he didn't bring up that I brought up earlier, and I'm surprised he didn't bring it up. But I can't remember what it was. Yeah, I mean, Ultimate Team is when whoever whoever created that. I mean, they deserve credit because they created something. Because if I remember correctly, I know one thing I wanted to do, or I thought Madden should do, was put fantasy football in Madden. Like, you go through franchise mode and, like, you wouldn't be able to use your players. Because, obviously, if you just chose your players, you would win fantasy football also. And you have to choose players from other teams and stuff like that and then maybe go against the, the AI in fantasy football also. So, when Madden Ultimate Team came out, it was almost like... Fantasy football brought to Madden in a way, you know, but shout out to Eric Rayweather. It was a um, great video, great video, great video, man. Brought back some memories, almost made a nigga tear up, man. I don't play Madden no more. I don't, I don't even play it no more. I don't even bother. Because all, all the stuff that I like, they took it out. They, they took it out. So I don't even bother with it no more. But anyway, uh, y'all please like and subscribe. Um, like and subscribe this video. Like and subscribe Eric Wayweather's video uh, and his channel. And um, can't wait to do... More reaction videos. It's your boy Billy Mac and I'll let y'all next time. Peace.